Chapter 19 The Lord also said to Moses, Say this to the entire community of Israel, You must be holy, because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Each of you must show respect for your mother and father, and you must always observe my Sabbath days of rest, for I, the Lord, am your God. Do not put your trust in idols or make gods of metal for yourselves. I, the Lord, am your God. When you sacrifice a peace offering to the Lord, offer it properly, so it will be accepted on your behalf. You must eat it on the same day you offer it, or on the next day at the latest. Any leftovers that remain until the third day must be burned. If any of the offering is eaten on the third day, it will be contaminated, and I will not accept it. If you eat it on the third day, you will answer for the sin of profaning what is holy to the Lord and must be cut off from the community. When you harvest your crops, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields and do not pick up what the harvesters drop. It is the same with your grape crop. Do not strip every last bunch of grapes from the vines and do not pick up the grapes that fall on the ground. Leave them for the poor and the foreigners who live among you, for I, the Lord, am your God. Do not steal, do not cheat one another, do not lie. Do not use my name to swear a falsehood and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not cheat or rob anyone. Always pay your hired workers promptly. Show your fear of God by treating the deaf with respect and by not taking advantage of the blind. I am the Lord. Always judge your neighbors fairly, neither favoring the poor nor showing deference to the rich. Do not spread slanderous gossip among your people. Do not try to get ahead at the cost of your neighbor's life, for I am the Lord. Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives. Confront your neighbors directly so you will not be held guilty for their crimes. Never seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. You must obey all my laws. Do not breed your cattle with other kinds of animals. Do not plant your field with two kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven from two different kinds of fabric. If a man has sexual intercourse with a slave girl who is committed to become someone else's wife, compensation must be paid. But since she had not been freed at the time, the couple will not be put to death. The man, however, must bring a ram as a guilt offering and present it to the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest will then make atonement for him before the Lord with the sacrificial ram of the guilt offering, and the man will be forgiven. When you enter the land and plant fruit trees, leave the fruit unharvested for the first three years and consider it forbidden. In the fourth year, the entire crop will be devoted to the Lord, as an outburst of praise. Finally, in the fifth year, you may eat the fruit. In this way, its yield will be increased. I, the Lord, am your God. Never eat meat that has not been drained of its blood. Do not practice fortune-telling or witchcraft. Do not trim off the hair on your temples or clip the edges of your beards. Never cut your bodies in mourning for the dead or mark your skin with tattoos, for I am the Lord. Do not defile your daughter by making her a prostitute, or the land will be filled with promiscuity and detestable wickedness. Keep my Sabbath days of rest, and show reverence toward my sanctuary, for I am the Lord. Do not rely on mediums and psychics, for you will be defiled by them. I, the Lord, am your God. Show your fear of God by standing up in the presence of elderly people and showing respect for the aged. I am the Lord. Do not exploit the foreigners who live in your land. They should be treated like everyone else, and you must love them as you love yourself. Remember that you were once foreigners in the land of Egypt. I, the Lord, am your God. Do not use dishonest standards when measuring length, weight, or volume. Your scales and weights must be accurate. Your containers for measuring dry goods or liquids must be accurate. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You must be careful to obey all of my laws and regulations, for I am the Lord.